original. Say I got them, girl, them are moving right See the girls, them are got me hypnotized Them are make up, bad man feel alright Guys, this is the weekend and this is the most mishmash vlog ever Like, I'm just going days at a time without posting My room is a mess uh, but I've just got ready, it's Sunday, I went to church online, I've just got ready to like go out, I'm gonna actually go and get pizza, I've just been craving, I don't know why, but I really enjoyed the Domino's that I had last week, I've just been craving it all week, so I'm gonna go pick some up, and I'm thinking tonight I want to go to a new spot this time, a spot called Tam Burma, it's been on my list for a while, um, or possibly another place that I can't remember the name now but I saw pictures of online and it looks really good but my week has just been chilled I haven't really been doing too much like there was a few days that I was just so fed up of being in Nigeria I'm just like when is my passport coming like it was just too much like the heat the insane heat and the thing is it just affects me so badly like once I step outside of my air conditioning room within two minutes I am um, sweating sweltering like it's it's a lot you know and then there was no electricity nepa there was no electricity for like two days i was struggling to work because of that laptops weren't charged phone and wi-fi weren't charged i was just like just get me home just get me home <laughs> bathing with frozen water every day not like like there's not hot water in nigeria but like not at my dad's guess what there is actually just not in the room i'm staying in the boiler's not working but in all the other rooms i think the boilers are working i don't know i was just tired i was just done but the last few days i've actually been enjoying it and like good i'm still waiting for my passport tomorrow first thing in the morning i'm going to like the place where i applied to chase them up like where my documents your good sis wants to go home she wants to go home oh and the mosquitoes that was what it was that was like when i was like i'm done done like there was no electricity um we didn't have diesel for the generator because there's a fuel shortage or something going on in the country prices were skyrocket high and mosquitoes were finishing my life it was hot trying to sleep through that nah it was just it was i woke up in the morning and i'm like hey god let me out of this bondage no but oh well, i've had a really good trip and i'm feeling good and there's been electricity for the last few days which has been awesome Sleeping with air conditioning is just a must for me. If I ever relocate to Nigeria, I need to live somewhere where they have a very good, like, um, source of electricity or very good, like, I don't know what to call it, supply, very good supply of electricity. I'm going out now. I'm going to go say hi to my dad first. Then I'm going to go pick up pizza. And then my dad promised me, like, there's this um, really fancy estate in Ibadona where, like, all the rich people live. Um, and he promised me like his event center just to, is across the road from the estate where our guest house is um, but that is like um, in the Kolapo Ishala so you can't just enter like their security is tight because the governor lives there um, you can't just enter you have to be invited so he's like okay I've been asking him for ages can I go around can I get a tour of this place and just see what the houses are like and you know what not so today he says he's gonna take me so I'm gonna get pizza then I'm gonna meet my dad and go for that tour oh outfit is this cute maxi dress from misguided it's so cute let me give you guys a full length i love this um so cute like the ribbing netty detailing love it love it love it so yeah minimal minimal makeup there's really no point in me wearing makeup in Nigeria because i'll just sweat this off i was just looking like a confused individual so we're going out let's go don't watch my room it is chaos phone in bag prada sunglass case in bag this is going to be like my 
outfit option for later this evening. Oh, all right, let's go see Dad. So I'm at Dad's. This is like the outdoor bar, actually, this weekend. I think I got some footage. We actually had two events in the hall. <laughs> of my evenings I spend it out here I'm just waiting for my bolt it's gonna take me to Domino's oh, so it's arriving in three minutes that's kind of how I've been getting around since I've been here <laughs> Finished my pizza, dad and I are now going to view. Well, he's taking me for a tour around Kalapo Ishola. Ah, I'm excited. So, this is my dad's business. two plots of land here how much would it cost me huh? to buy two plots of land it's not possible my dad said 200 million it's not possible wow that said the plot of land here is about 70 million okay first thing i'm noticing is that they've got good roads <laughs> You rarely see good roads in this Ibadan, but here they've got good roads. All these houses are very nicely I'm done. So the governor, my dad says the governor lives here. Well, he has one of his properties here. Very nice. That's a little modern flat. Looks like it's to rent. The property's being developed. Land. Okay, no, no, you had land in here. Okay. This one. Okay. So this used to be Dad's land. We sold it. Do you get seventy million for it? Many years ago. Like they have good roads, bless your dad. But I haven't seen any houses that I'm thinking are truly miraculously wonderful. Not yet anyway. This one looks nice as well. This is beautiful. 
That's a beautiful house. That's probably the best one I've seen so far. <coughs> I don't know, but most when I'm driving around, no, but when I'm driving around Ibadan, it's a nice house. Very nice. When I'm driving around Ibadan, Shebi, I've been driving around here for three weeks. Actually, there's one express road or highway that is also very good. I don't know what area that one is in, Sha. This is the house I saw. It has three units. Just stop it. It has three units of. Um, I can't see it anymore. Maybe go forward small. I can see it in this gap. This one has three units of three bedroom flats. So I think they were renting it for eight million. And right through there, you can't see it, but there's a really lovely. I saw it online. That's how much they were asking for 12 million. But then I think they reduced for the price three. for all three. Um, and then there's a really nice swimming pool. Nice, Sha. This is when I move back. You know, I might rent it and then, if it's still available, and then rent out the other flats so that could they would, I asked them, they said you must take all three. That's home. Right at the entrance. Leaving for that tight security. So we're back at that. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I feel like it's really nice just because the roads were good first of all, the houses were good, there weren't street walkers, you know, touting or selling things. It's a very quiet, serene neighborhood, but I would probably say like there were some average looking houses and there were like a handful of really stunning, beautiful houses. So, yeah, it's impressive, but not like massively blown away or anything. So. Good morning. <sighs> I'm up super early, I think it's like 7 30. Um, I'm going to the Nigerian Immigration Office to try and get my passport done today so I can leave the country. Lord Jesus, let me leave the country. <laughs> uh, it's Monday, I've got work, but I'm not starting till 10 and we're an hour early, so 11 o'clock here. So I've got three hours to get this done. Pray for me, guys. Um, it's also Valentine's Day. Mm, for us single people is every every other day nothing special for us um but yeah i just thought i'd update you have a good weekend have a really good weekend and now you need to get my passport done hey beautiful people it's been a few days so i think the last time you saw me i was heading to the passport office to try and sort out my passport unfortunately i wasn't able to because my NIA number, even though I have it, they told me it hasn't actually been validated, which means that I can't process a passport until the NIA office validate their number. And apparently they're on a backlog, so God only knows when that will happen. So, your good sis booked her ticket back to London <laughs> because they're not keeping me hostage here any longer. I'm going with all my bags on Tuesday and I'm going to pray they let me get on that flight. I'm done. I'm actually done. But today... There's an event at Dad's Centre, it's actually a friend of his, so we are attending outfit. Unfortunately, I don't have any like typical Yoruba traditional outfits to wear, but the colour for the wedding is burgundy, so it popped on these burgundy pants and this really cute top. I think it is from Pretty Little Thing. Look, she's cute. Ah, so it is Saturday, three days time. I'm hoping I will be leaving this country, but I'll be back again soon. It's been an awesome trip, but I miss home. I can't wait to get back. All right, guys, I will catch you later in a bit. So I'm here at Tam Burma, absolutely gorgeous, for kind of my last family meal out. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm. I love palm trees. You'll come back out here and help me take a picture. And this picture right there. 
Harper and Brother. Tamboma is just right here. Shotiri. There we go. It's beautiful. This way. Thank you. I love the pots. Very pretty. Follow the gin and tonic. It's leading the way. Oh wow, it's like a really lovely rustic garden. Yeah, on this bridge. This thing. It's very Instagrammable here. Especially at night, they put on all these lights that you can see that are dangling. And then they've got little private booths. Very African style. Okay, let's take the photo. Guys, no surprise that I am sweating. But this place is aesthetically just gorgeous. But they don't have like air conditioning because it's mainly outdoors. It's just fan vibes. And honestly, it's a little bit too hot for me. Um, I'm on the gin and tonic. Sweating my ass off, but we cute, eh? Looking good, feeling good. Absolutely gorgeous vibes. There's no electricity, surprise, surprise, shock, shock. I'm just waiting for my driver to pick me up because your good sis is packed. Like, I'm leaving a lot of stuff behind. I say I'm packed, but like, my wardrobe still has a lot of clothes in it just because I'm coming back in about seven weeks and no point in taking it all back with me. So, I just got one really nice, easy suitcase. I say nice, easy, it's quite heavy actually, which I'll leave outside. We'll pop this in the laundry basket. Yeah, it's been a good trip. Yesterday, saying goodbye, having lunch with the fam was lovely. After that, in the evening, went to my dad's bar. Just thanked everybody who'd helped me while I've been here. Blessed them all with a little money. And now, I'm ready to go. Well, I'm going to run some last minute errands. I'm actually getting the train to Lagos. Um, I'll spend the night at Lagos Hotel before I fly away tomorrow. But I'm just going to do some last minute errands, get some bits and bobs for the fan back home, for colleagues at work, for me. And then off to the train station we go. It's hat. Alright guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. It's almost over. Catch you soon. How good a job did I do with my room though? I never gave you guys like a proper tour but from what it looked like when I first got it okay this is not the best you know view of it now but yeah she's pretty dad seeing me off to the airport it actually looks very modern indeed we've arrived in a good amount of time i've got like 40 minutes before the train should depart i've already bought my ticket so fingers crossed all okay i 
everybody. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, I you soon. I'll be back soon. It's fully air conditioned. It looks good, modern. Everybody's queuing. It's large. Thingy machines. So off to Lagos. I like the train station. It's actually clean. Toilets are well maintained. It's a bit rowdy out there because there's like a group of school kids. But I like that kids are, you know, using the train to travel around. That's nice to see. Got first class tickets and this is the first class lounge. I'll catch you guys later. So this is first class. It's very basic. It's just that you've got a lot of room. There's less people. I'm surprised there's not even like a table. Like if you're working on this trip and you want to like put your laptop down, there's not even a table that you can use. Um, yeah, this is not really what I would describe as first class. It's a pretty bare cabin, but there's air conditioning and it's comfortable. So. We made it. It's one of the things I definitely wanted to do on this trip is check out the new train station and the train to Lagos. And yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was nice and easy. It took about 30, 35 minutes to get here from you know where I was staying, my dad's place. They've actually got like a movie showing as well, Avatar. But I don't know if there's like a place to plug in your headphones to watch that but at least there's a place to charge for my items so I'm gonna get charging I think as your daddy told me I said don't worry you did a long time I saw for me but I was able to see her secondly I've never been to that uh, Really? The station, yeah. Thank you, Sal. I know it was very last minute. Oh, what am I not to do that? I am beyond fuming. Like, I've actually been sat in this hotel lobby for almost an hour waiting. Thanks. Sat in this hotel for almost an hour waiting to check in. Like, I literally checked in. Ago, and they've had me sitting in the lobby for 50 minutes. It's just so unprofessional. I'm fuming after a whole day of traveling. It calls off a fucking four star, four star hotel. This wouldn't even happen at a two star hotel. And in the meantime, they can't even offer you a complimentary bottle of water, nothing to drink at all. Beyond fuming, beyond freaking fuming. So, guys, after waiting an hour and 10 minutes in the lobby, I finally have a room they've said they've upgraded it i have no idea if that's true but it's a nice room anyway teas and coffees got a little lounge if i was working view of lagos city a grubby view you need to clean their windows and then the bathroom looks quite nice as well like it's a nice looking hotel if they'd given me a shit room after all of that i would have been fuming but this is okay i'm just gonna shower and then go down and have dinner but wow your good sis is in a bad mood hey guys so i'm showered i'm dressed just gonna put this black jumpsuit hang on let me turn it around so you guys can see it, that jumpsuit. I left a lot of my makeup, well not a lot of, but my um, skin makeup, my foundation. I left it in Nigeria at my dad's just so it's here when I come back. So, oh, the pouch. Let me just tell you, I have eaten on this vacation. Diet starts tomorrow, but we're looking good. Excuse me. <laughs> looking good we're feeling good let's go down let's go down and eat good morning guys so i have checked in through immigration it was an ordeal i suddenly dropped a lot of people money if you know how my country works if you understand and now i'm just sat in the virgin lounge just having breakfast coffee 
I think my flight has actually started boarding, so I need to go. But it's been an awesome trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed the flag. Coming home, nothing beats it. And I'm really gonna miss my dad, I'm gonna miss my brother, my younger sister. I've had the best trip, the best time. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. No, 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.